Hello, hello, and welcome to the show. Hello. Psycho Yoda here, and Rain, as usual, doing a little bit of uh, man versus woman on the Xbox edition of Minecraft. And Is that what we're playing? Um, yes, because Space Invaders was already done. Oh, okay. So, as promised, we wanted to get to building some housing today for the potential update, allowing for villager breeding, and uh, we want to try to transfer some some villagers here and uh, hope that they take it as a village so that they're in our cityscape. Uh, can, I, can I pester you for a moment, sweet cheeks? Yeah, absolutely. I was just unloading my inventory from our last caving trip since I haven't been on. You want to take me on a date to the aquarium? Okay. That's weird. Except for that you trapped me inside the mall. <laughs> so, <clears throat> for those of you at home also, uh, you have not seen where we've gotten with this. This is uh, the basic shebang here. I think you saw the outer shape oh, of it. Oh, pretty. Uh, let's go ahead and... Ah, I don't... Go into the front I don't uh, think I saw that. upper here. No, you haven't seen. It. I'm talking about the folks at home. Oh, okay. Isn't it pretty? So the idea was to make it as aquarium looking as possible. We got this huge tank in the center that uh, is actually open oh. to the roof. So maybe <laughs> occasionally we'll get some zombies or something to fall in there. Have a little little zombie fish, and then. <laughs> This area here is going to be set up for like merchandise, is the idea. And then we got a couple of these tanks is, here. That's the downstairs. Is this to have glass in it? So, this is oh. basically, this is okay. like my thought process on it was keeping it kind of like Chicago in the sense that they have the zoo is free to the public. Oh, okay. So, this would be like free, free to enter. So, of course, there's openings all over the place. Yeah. Or just wherever it's convenient. Okay. So if you go to the, the bottom here, we got this center garden area that I've uh, lit up very strategically. If you look down there, get the light levels high enough so it's not a problem, but give that uh, atmosphere that you get in an aquarium, because they always tend to be really dark. Yeah, me... it's so... I like it! <laughs> and then you got these huge tanks in the walls, um, and got some plant life in them. And then the smaller ones underneath the staircase also. Trying to... Cool. I like the way you did the, um, the lit up uh, uh, reeds with the glowstone there. Yes. That looks really cool. Mm -hmm. Looks like, like the saltwater tanks and stuff. And then here we have the opening to the... Or the window to the outside. I see squid out there. I see squid. Yep. Windows on both sides still open <laughs> to the outside. Um, still have to do some digging away, I believe, on both sides still. I have a, a good Aquafinity helmet. I can uh, help out with that. <laughs> but uh, that's the basic layout of that. Um, while the wife finishes putting stuff away, I'll show you what I've been doing for extensions on roads. Basically, I'm planning on connecting some roads up to each other. Um, also went ahead and planted some melons just to get them going. Uh, if you have seen the previous episodes, you'll know that this was intended for both pumpkins and melons, but we're having some kind of an issue with that, so I don't know if that's going to be fixed in the next patch or update or not. Um, if it is, we can go ahead and implement these and put them in there. If not, I might figure out where to put another one of these for the melons and then just leave that one pumpkin. But, uh... We went ahead and started extending roads, or I did. Got this one over the top of the exposed ravine, was right below here. And this is going to connect all the way over this way. Honey, it's getting dark if you want to head towards the beds. And then connect into this road. And this leads back over towards the law offices of Hiss and Boom, and also where Rain built a couple of houses. Diligent, yeah, huh, that's me. Mm -hmm. We've been uh, working on some stuff. Rain's been gathering clay blocks, and I've been working on roads. I got some um, trap doors to, to place, but uh, 
Let's go ahead and take a, a walk of this away and take a look what we've done. We're going to go walkabout? Walkabout. So this is the road expansion. Uh, this area is going to have a standard houses and whatnot into it. And then it's going to end right here. Made a little area to connect a gravel path into the um, wild, wild wilderness. The starting village over there. <clears throat> oh, okay. And then it goes all the way over here. And uh, some of these trees will be moving. We'll be adding trees uh, as well, I'm sure. Got an entrance to the aquarium. Uh, both both entrances are hooked up now, but uh, yeah, I'm I'm liking the the new expansion to the road. It, it's yeah. got me thinking what kind of other stuff we're gonna build, but uh, we'll we'll get there. Uh, we have our makeshift pumpkin or er, melon farm still still in effect, and then I've started adding a whole bunch of trees uh, in different places and putting torches on the trunks, just kind of identify that they're staying there, and also getting rid of the torches that are just laying around uh, I'd, I'd prefer to make it look more el natural and not have torches just spammed all over the place it looks kind of like, be all ugly. naked and stuff yeah um, and you can see off in the distance there means? what's that I said you want it to be naked is not that what all natural means naked yes I want to be naked okay <laughs> I want to frolic in the woods tra la la uh, you can see over there we've started setting some stuff up uh, I'll be over there in just a moment to let you have a closer look the fam went to a movie recently and uh, one of the previews at the movie we went and saw um, what is it called the new monsters movie I think it's Monster University yes it was, it was a pretty entertaining movie. Uh, the part that got me, though, there's a, there's one scene in the movie where they're at a lake at night. And uh, I'm not giving any spoilers away here for anybody who's worried. Basically, what, what got me was the, all the textures. I could not believe how good everything looked. It was absolutely amazing to me. Um, just how far the graphics have gone. And they're still making this look like a cartoon. But... It's so real, like as a cartoon, you you couldn't get more realistic looking. I guess is the, the easiest way to put it. Yeah, it was pretty amazing as far as the graphics went. I mean, the movie was good too, but, but um, the graphics were pretty fantastic. They were. It was pretty cute, pretty cute. So. And the boy loved it, of course. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, many of you will know by now. I had released a tutorial on how to build a quote-unquote brownstone style apartment on Monday and that's what I've been working on over there in that corner we've been setting up some more city style housing over that section um, I think we have four laid out where they're going to be but uh, I started working on the first one and I wanted to incorporate some place to put tools and um, weapons and armor since it seems like a jaunt and a half to go from the back and forth from the mall to the uh, mob, mob farm and then to the enchanting room at the library here. I figured we could utilize this for more than just a villager area and this one is set up let me back up so you can take a look at it <clears throat> got some pretty decorative trim on this one they're all gonna be different as far as the decorative trim and color combinations um, gonna put start off by putting some windows in here as well but uh, this is basically a storage idea for the armor and the tools and stuff so I have crafting benches once they introduce the um, I always forget what they're called nether chest ender chest, ender chest. 
we'll be putting one in each of these as well just to, to access that because I figure once we have an ender chest in place we'll probably use that to keep certain things like a stack of iron blocks a stack of diamond etc etc in it so basically what we'll do is have one section where we can put a whole bunch of stuff that's already been enchanted and stuff that needs to be enchanted like um, since we're only doing iron armor we could do iron armor um, and then we could do the tools like even shears, um, hose, you shovels. You can't enchant shears. You can't yet. Oh, okay. Yeah, it'll it'll You're be coming. About, like in the future time. Yes. Okay. And then you know swords and whatnot. And then we'll just be able to do all of this stuff, and it's basically halfway between the library and the hiss and boom tower, so we can run back and forth and not have to go all the way back to the mall every time we need to get a supplies to make a diamond pick or a iron helmet. It'll all be sitting right here. That would be nice. <laughs> if I can incorporate some of your brilliant building techniques. Out here, here. Flattering will get you everywhere. I don't want to go anywhere. Something else that will definitely be discussed more as it becomes closer is that Rain and I have decided to get the PC version of Minecraft. Um, we're going to ease into it slowly when we do, and I still think it's going to be basically right around the end of summertime. Uh, but our plan is to basically start off by doing stuff like the um, walls and the Hunger Games and uh, yeah, the, kind of the spleef, it. that kind of stuff. Yeah, because this is going to be a completely different experience for us. Although we've watched the game being played forever and ever and ever, we uh, have not played the PC version, and so the controls are going to be foreign to us, and we're going to have to re-acclimate ourselves to the the PC world. I mean, I think the last time yeah. both of us played on the PC on the regular was, well, I know it was before the Cataclysm for WoW. Yeah. Um, gosh, it was it was a while ago for sure. I think the Lich King Ooh. was the last update that I purchased. Or uh, expansion, I should say. Okay. For World of Warcraft. Uh, so I, w I would like to say that that was probably right around that time. I mean, basically I finished it and was done at that point. I didn't bother coming back. And that World of Warcraft was the last PC game that both of us played, really. I had talked about briefly adding some trees and stuff. Um, as you can see, we've ch just trying to manicure the place up. So all these ones have lights underneath them. And then a spot that you can really notice the difference is this section here, right across from here, is going to keep these trees. And then this part, basically there was only one tree left. I'd taken pretty much all of them out. Um, I went ahead and added them back in strategically, uh, vined them all out, put some lights in, give it that real swampy feel. Because the whole point of creating the city in this area was, yes, it was close to the center of the map, but we really liked the colors and the swamp look, the way that the, the trees and everything look, the darker blue water. So I want to leave that kind of thing going. I uh, might just change out where the lily pads are a little bit for, uh, over time, but I mean, it's a kind of a pain in the butt to go find them all anyway. So this way it's, it's naturally generated. <laughs> well, well, well. What have we here? <laughs> so, uh, as you can see, I've been busy. Got uh, the second building basically done. Uh, Rain's over there working on her house some more. I've had some extra time to be working on stuff uh, without Rain, so... Got a little bit more done than she did, but... Uh, oh, sure. Just make me look like a slacker, why don't you? Well, you know... I try. <laughs> and that's the point. Hey, now. Forget you, man. Uh, so, I'm going to get some stuff together here and put some trap doors on those. 
those. Uh, oh, I got 35 trap doors already. I probably have enough on those lamp posts so they don't look so naked. So I'll do a little walk and talk while I'm doing that. Put a few things away. One of the things I wanted to talk about is that these will be out on Friday, which it happens to be my birthday. Just so happens that it is. And uh, I plan on going and seeing the Pacific Rim movie. It just looks like it's going to be epically amazing to see on a big screen. I don't think it's going to have much of a plot per se. It doesn't look like it's <laughs> that kind of a movie. It doesn't look like that whole plot kind of movie. It's, really... <laughs> it's just one of those things that as it's gotten closer and closer and closer to coming out, when I first saw the preview for it, I'm like, the the concept looked cool, but I figured it would just it'd not be worth watching. But now that the time is upon us, I'm thinking, I really want to see it, you know? So... I think I'm gonna go go check that out. Uh, we're currently in debate. Uh, planning on going with a friend of ours. We're currently currently in debate on whether or not we're gonna go see it in 3D. Yeah, we don't usually go see things in 3D because we don't want to encourage them to make more movies in 3D. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Although I'm not a, a person to watch much ESPN anyway. Oh, that was the wrong placement. When I found out that ESPN was dropping their 3D network, I was just, you know, amazed and shocked. <laughs> uh, well, it's just who would have thought that a gimmick like that was going to was going to fail, you know? Yeah, it's just dumb. So, I'm not a fan. They do so many stupid if, if they if they did it right, it'd be fine, but they don't. They they do stupid stuff like they put in extra the crap that doesn't need to be there. Just for the sake of, oh, we can do this in 3D, so it's going to look cool. Yeah. And, and perfect perfect example of that would be, I don't even know if it is actually the last Resident Evil. I think it was the one before last. Basically, when 3D first really started getting big in the movies, the Resident Evil, it came out. And, and even in the preview for it, they show a, a big axe being thrown right at the screen. And the first thing that comes to mind is going, well, that sucks. Because now I don't even want to see the movie. I know it's going to be terrible. Right. I know there's going to be a whole bunch of gimmick stuff in there. It's looking pretty good, sweetheart. Yeah. So, it's just one of those things. If you don't support it, it will go away. <laughs> we keep hoping, anyway. And then, of course, we don't go to the movies often enough to really make any difference. <laughs> that's not true. I said we go quite often. Uh, I don't know. Compared to the rest of humanity, you think? Compared to the rest of humanity. Well, let's put it this way. Well, I would okay. say that we go to movies... Man, I'm running short. I think there's some wood over here. I'd say we go to the you're movies... Short, you're tall. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. We go to the movies... Um, I would say more than once every two months. So that means more than six a year. I would say we see about eight movies a year. Yeah, probably. So Sounds about right. That, that, that to me says that we see quite a few movies. Just, you know, you look at it those terms. Yeah. So this is the other brownstone, quote-unquote, house, or uh, apartment building. Uh, so as said last time, this one was set up as kind of a storage place for tools and armor and whatnot, because it's between the mob trap and the enchanting room. But... This one is basically the first village house where we're trying to get villagers to want to stay here. So I'm going to put a little bit of furniture and stuff in here, uh, just kind of like a village would have in there. But basically it's going to stay that same kind of concept. And then there's not much really in the difference in the layout. But if you go into the bottom apartments here and go back here where before I've put chests, you can see that it goes down into the basement. And I didn't bother making extra rooms down here because the windows, you can't really see far from them anyway. But what I did do is I added two doors underneath this block here. And this block is directly uh, out 
at sunlight. So this is one block down from sunlight level. So these two doors should act as a quote unquote village house. Basically, we just need to get some villagers in here once that update has happened and they should do the rest. They should accept it as such and uh, hopefully they'll, they'll, they'll say, see this as the oh. village center. Um, I'm going to add one with the downstairs like that one, one of these as well, probably this one that's closest to it. So we have two chances of that happening. Those doors being like that also work towards the, the breeding aspects. Um, but the the cap on villagers is so low in the Minecraft Xbox 360 edition that once I transfer villagers over from the village that they're at to the couple of locations that I want to put them in the city and they have the children that they're willing to have with that many doors, I'll probably have reached the cap. It's, it's kind of a sad thing because I'm doing all this work th and I'm envisioning, you know, villagers just running amok but it's not it's just not gonna happen because we're so there will be limited. no amok villagers none <laughs> you're a little off what why am i off i don't know you star well that's not a nice thing to say not a nice person for the birthday sure boy i have to keep explaining that to people ay, ay, ay. <laughs> uh so those of you that are wondering i will be 34 on july 12th and yes he had to ask me that Yes, I did. <laughs> I kept on wanting to say I was going to be 35, which I don't know why I want to make myself older, but... So, it That'd looks like easy. Rain has finished her house of housiness. House of housiness, yes, that's exactly what this is. That's right. Just getting, getting a few bushes in here, you know. With some lighting underneath him, because I saw that on some tutorial this one time. Oh, yeah? We should yeah. check that guy out. I think it? he's pretty good. I don't know, some weirdo. <laughs> he's pretty good, he's some weirdo. It looks pretty some good, weirdo. I like it. Uh, so basically what was going on is, is we wanted to incorporate a house that would be kind of the same generation of these other buildings. Um, as Rain put it, she wanted to build something that looked like it oh, was the... The, the old, old lady, lady who wouldn't sell to out. Sell. <laughs> she wouldn't. She wouldn't sell her her property to succumb to. Have you to seen Batteries Not Included? You know that movie, Batteries Not Included. Yeah. I imagine the old lady that lives here is a lot like the old lady in that movie that wouldn't sell her diner. Yeah. There you go. I have a whole little world built for this little old lady. <laughs> it's got a cool back porch area, um, right onto the water there, which is really cool. This being a swamp thing, that looks. Pretty wicked giggly awesome and uh we've got the brick theme going on got some white up top a little stucco treatment or what have you plaster treatment inside she used the wool blocks here instead of snow blocks which i'm fine with whatever she wants to do uh looks like she's got a seating area and a way to get to the back patio and some storage and whatnot are you planning on moving into this one it's got a sitting chair, more chests upstairs, and even a double bed. Looks like you're planning on moving into it to me. No, I was just trying to make it look like a lived-in house. I wanted mm -hmm. to put furnishings in it and make it look like... I'm not moving. I oh, like okay. my house. All right. Uh, so, <laughs> I think... we got to plant some flowers. you got to plant some flowers. Well, yeah. I want to go over to the bridge real quick and take a look at it from that angle. I found, a, I found several cool caves as I was out looking for... Um, Looking for various play blocks and things. So it, it's not lit up or anything. So we might uh, check that out. Maybe we'll find another abandoned mine shaft. Who knows? Of course, we have yeah. our our melons now. So what's the what's the point really? I mean, that looks really cool. It's starting to look like more of a cityscape. We're getting more buildings in here. Um, I want to get these other two buildings in before the next episode too. So I might work on that through the week slash weekend. And I think that's going to wrap it us up. All don't, right. Don't Sounds forget that like and subscribe if you enjoy our videos. And we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.